called still. Marcella, what, what are we doing right now? Well, to, now right now we're feeding my pigs, two of them, uh, Ursella and that's Bella. Is yeah. it normal to have uh, pet pigs? It's not normal, but for re normal people, but uh, you know, I'm not kind of normal. So for me, I always wanted pigs, and I rescued my first pig. Chewy was actually right there, and he's a little bit shy. How many pigs do we do we own here? I own three pigs. Okay. Yes, they're pot belly pigs, Vietnamese pot bellies, and they came into America in the 1980s with the Vietnam War. Oh wow! Yes. So these are not pigs that are like commercialized or, you know, like the other poor pigs that end up in the. Ah, there you go. See. She's very mischievous. Very mischievous. What? Well, uh, here, here you go. Do you have any other pets? Like, uh, it's this is, uh, we're in kind of like in a farmy yes. kind of places. I, I saw horses. Yeah, which I always... have here. If you want to come, I have two guinea pigs right here. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, there's two guinea pigs. They're so cute. Come here, look at them. They're over there. Okay, I, I could deal with guinea pigs. Her it's names are normal. Baby and Offset. Okay, Offset. Like... <laughs> What, what yes. does it take to, to have pigs? Come here, and then you can see the, the main one. He was the most famous. Oh, look at him. <clears throat> Chewy. Aww. He's the fashion. Look, he's wearing a, a fur coat and the Dolce Gabbana glasses. Look at that. Okay. Why, why is he famous? He was famous because he was in a lot of stores with the Daily Mail and Metro UK because he was supposed to be 36 pounds when I got him. Okay. And he's 250 now. And... I rescued him and then I was able to save him because the city of Westlake Village, they wanted to actually not, uh, somebody called the animal control and they said, Marcella, you have to get rid of your pig because you are not zoned for pigs. I didn't know that if, if you want to have a pig or animal like horse, goat, uh, stuff like that, chickens, you need to be zoned for those type of animals. So, what does that mean by zoning? Zoning means that the area that you live needs to be allowed to have those kind of uh, farm animals. Okay. So I didn't know that when I uh, rescued Chewy, so I went to the city of Westlake Village, I presented a petition, and after two, three months, they gave me a permit to keep Chewy. But then I decided to move to this side of the town where, can you see, we are in a farm area, but even though it's very close to the city. So I can have any single animal I want right now. And what is what? that? Uh, what? what is... <laughs> she almost attacked me. <laughs> No, what? I think she was a scare of this one. Because this one's very mischievous. I'm just kidding. What I lost my train of thought here. What what are you gonna do with these pigs? Are you just gonna like keep them as pets for like the rest yeah, of the Yeah, they're like dogs. They're like dogs that live around ten to fifteen years. And yeah, they're like they're my pets. They're very chill, you know. The to me they're like a dog. The good thing about them, you don't need to groom them very much. Once a year you need to like trim the hoops and stuff like that. And they eat like pig food that I bought here at the Gura Feed. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to keep. You know, they're very clean. They pee pee poop, poop, poop outside. I, at night, they go inside my house. So, yeah. So for me, they're like dogs. Well, um, if you, if you uh, talk to other uh, pet owners, like if they decided to, to want to have a pig, what would you uh, what advice would you give to them? Uh, first of all, the main the main is uh, thing is you need to know if you're zoned to have those pigs because many many people then they have to they have them when they're babies and they start taking them outside and the people complain. So first of all, you need to be known for the zone for pigs. It's not going to be a problem. Second, you need to have a bed close that is uh, we call it exotics. I have many beds here around and make sure it's a commitment for 15 to 20 years because they live for this long and to relocate a pig is not as easy to relocate a dog so if you made that commitment you need to um, keep with it you know I, I that's why I rescued too because people couldn't keep it the husband didn't like it blah 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 uh, so yeah make sure you're doing the right decision because they're very uh, misunderstood animals the pigs they're very smart but unfortunately people see to see them as food Speaking of food, does, does like owning pigs like uh, change your dietary needs? Uh, well, when I rescued Chewy, uh, I became a vegetarian. Oh, okay, that's what I wanted yeah, to because ask. because I rescued Chewy in 2013, and I, I start figuring out that the pigs are really, really smart, and I said, you know what, uh, I don't want to be part of the problem, and I became a vegetarian, yes. That's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Um, is it? <laughs> there you go. See, she is the dominant one. She dominates the other two, right, Stella? She she wants she wants to be the only one, right, Stella? Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks so much. If people want to hit you up for uh, pig comments, where, where would they hit you up at? Oh, of course.
or they can go to my website, queenofhollywood.com, or they can Google Chewy, the mini pig. Chewy is C-H-U-Y, and see all his story around, and yeah. Beautiful. Huh? This, the pigs, the bunny, and the guinea pigs, they all eat the same food. And sometimes my dogs also love it. Struggling a lot. A lot of people are out of work, facing economic uncertainty, really struggling. So all of these stressors tend to exacerbate any cracks in the relationship or any struggles. So mm -hmm. the first is to be aware of what your triggers are, when you're getting triggered. I, I like to think of, if, if you think about your anger and your frustration, let's go from zero to 10. 10 being you're screaming at your partner and you're I'm saying- I'm 10 usually. Unstable. I'm usually at 10. Go on. <laughs> yeah. well, that, that's why we want to keep you out of a relationship for a while <laughs> until you learn some skills. But, and zero being like, you're totally calm, cool, like hanging on the couch, feeling good. You want to look at what is that point of no return? Like as your anger mounts, as your frustration mounts, and we all have, you know, our frustrations on a day-to-day -day basis, you want to be taking your temperature. You want to go, okay, what is that point of no return? For a lot of people, maybe a seven or an eight. Let's say yours is an eight. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is be taking your temperature and checking in and going, okay, where am I on this scale right now? Okay, you know what? When you get about two points lower than your breaking point, so if you're an eight, when you hit a six, it's time to take a timeout. I really like timeouts for adults. I don't like them very much for kids, which is a whole other thing. But to be able to say to your partner, plan it in advance, hey, I heard this therapist talk with Ryan Fu, and she recommended couples take a timeout when things are getting too heated. Because what happens is if you're too hot when you have the conversation, it's not gonna be productive. It's a waste of your time. People just get their feelings hurt. People say terrible things to each other. Take a timeout. When you hit a six, hey, I think I'm too worked up to have a productive conversation. Let's take a break. Let's meet back in the kitchen an hour, or let's sleep on this and talk about it in the morning. You're not abandoning your partner. You're not screaming and running out the door, but say, hey, I'm too hot right now. Like, I can't talk about this right now, but I do want to work this out. Let's talk about this later. So she's about to throw that beer bottle at me. I'm like, let's take a time out here. Two points <laughs> below the beer bottle throwing. That's when you want to take the time out. Beautiful. Um, since the COVID lockdown, the 